You know Lori Lightfoot. I told you once that this district, the third district, is an autonomous zone. And look at this Caucasian just looking at me stalking in my community. I mean, with a gun, ready to commit violence, ready, ready to kill behind the United States code and policy. I mean, out here ready to kill. Lloyd Lightfoot, I told you, this is an autonomous zone. All the third district. We don't want the police in our communities unless they call. You know, we don't even want the police station. They are terrorists, domestic terrorists. They terrorize our people. They, they terrorize us. They do not protect us. No one can protect anyone, period. It's been proven. It's been proven. They would have never been able to kill John F. Kennedy, one of the most protected people on the planet, if the police could protect us. They do not protect us. They terrorize us and act like it's protection and it's terrorism, domestic terrorism. They violate the Constitution, Article 6 of the Constitution, all peace treaties. They violate them. They violate their own 1215 AD Magna Carta by using the color of law. They call it the rule of law. How are you going to change the rules of law and enforce code and policy? on the American people, calling them black and African-American. I don't even understand it. I don't even understand how you can enforce your code and policy on your own people. Knowing that it's terrorism, just to get a paycheck, you are volunteering to commit domestic terrorism and don't even care. As long as they give you a paycheck, you will commit the worst crimes ever, ever committed on the American people. And don't even care. 8 U.S.C. 1324. I am Minister A. Royale of In the Guys We Trust Ministry. This is a treasonous Caucasian on my land. Period. Enforcing code and policy on the American people. Pretending like we black and African-American. Knowing we are the American people on our own land. All these fake slavery stories that they have told. Knowing who the real servants are. Servants are enforcing code and policy on the American people. High treason. You a public servant. So if you're a servant, how can you enforce anything as a servant on anyone as a servant? But they don't care. They come out here and commit domestic terrorism. They commit murder, looking for a kill all day. They look for a kill all day. He's looking for a kill now. He doesn't know anyone in this community, but he's in our community with a gun, enforcing code and policy, looking for a kill. Looking for a kill. Because that's all they do is murder. Murder. That's all they do. They are murderers. Period. If you can't enforce code and policy on the American people and you do it anyway and kill them, you are murderers. You are treasonous because no one is black or African American. We are the American people on our own land. And if you don't know that, you the dummy. Civil orders 
July 4th, 2014. Period. This is our land and you are treasonous. You need to read. You are treasonous. Civil orders, July 4th, 2014. Maine Unified United States Common Law Grand Jury. Orders from the Pope of Rome, the Vatican, to stand up to these treasonous people because they are violating their own Magna Carta 1215 AD. We are the American people. We are the freemen of their Magna Carta. They are the Anglo-Americans. No one could be a United States citizen. Title 18, 9, 11. Anyone claiming to be a United States citizen could be, get up to four years in prison. No one can be a United States citizen. But they are forcing the U.S. United States codes on the American people and don't even care volunteering to commit domestic terrorism because no one needs to get this no one has to have this job we have a sheriff's department so what do the police enforce because they are not voted in the office they work for the mayor no one votes for anything of the police department period so how can they enforce anything they don't enforce the Constitution. Article 6. So what do they enforce? Right. None of these people are voted for. So why are they out here doing what they're doing? Murdering and killing and terrorizing. Why? Who gave them the authority? Not the American states. The American states do not consent to no police on our land, the People's Republic of Morocco. Right. The American states do not consent to this at all. Lori Lightfoot, this is a standing army on our land. This is a standing army army that is terrorism on our land period he's not moving you see how long he's been there why is he there to terrorize point blank period because they are terrorists domestic terrorists looking for a kill, period, period. They are all, all of them are a part of the KKK. All of them, that's what they are. That's why the KKK wears hoods, so that you don't know what they look like. So all of them are KKK members. Yes. Now I need you to disperse and leave up out of my uh, community. Lori Lightfoot, I have told your officers their code. Eight USC one, three, two, four. Right? All of us are a lean to the United States. I am Minister L. Roel of In the Gods We Trust Ministry. And I've asked your officer to disperse. To disperse from here, period. Get away from here. I do not want to see him because he is a terrorist to me. Anyone that is enforcing code and policy is a terrorist to me, the American state. And I've asked her officer to disperse because he is standing 
as an armed force on the People's Republic of Morocco. He's not moving. So he is committing domestic terrorism, period. A standing army force on our land and a Caucasian at that. We all have a Second Amendment right and I am above that. God's law, common law. Gives me the rights. But they kill if they even think you have one. A firearm. But they could be on my land with a firearm pretending, acting like they have authority. Acting like they have authority and they don't. Terrorist. With firearms. They gave themselves the Second Amendment right to bear arms against the American people. The Second Amendment right is terrorism because it's theirs. They don't have it. We have the right. Domestic terrorist. Everything I'm telling him, he's using the color of law against him. It's against the Department of Justice to use the color of law. And it, they're using it anyway. They're using it anyway. It is against the Department of Justice to use the color of law, and they're using it anyway. And he's laughing at me like it's a game. He's laughing at me like it's funny. Terrorism is funny to the terrorist, but not to the people that don't know. And the people that do know, it is not funny domestic terrorist you will find out domestic terrorist domestic terrorist look caucasian more caucasians with guns in our land on our land terrorize more of them terrorists why none of them live around here none of them knows anyone around here in this community but they're in this community Hunting with guns. Hunting. They're hunting us like we're animals because they're using the color of law on our land, violating our Constitution. Article 6, all peace treaties, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, and the 1880 Treaty of Madrid. They're violating, violating them both by taking these jobs, period. Don't worry about it. Writ of Mandamus, May 20th, 2015. American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, 2016. Yes. No, the law. You are not it. You are a code and policy enforcer, a terrorist, domestic terrorist. We are not black or African American. You cannot enforce your code and policy on us, but you are doing it, volunteering to do it. You are a terrorist, a domestic terrorist. Yes. Murder to me, kill me. I see the look in your face. You want to kill me, don't you? You want me dead, don't you? I see it in your face. You're lying. It's in your face. You want me dead. You want, because if you didn't want me dead, you would not have this job. You would not have this job if you do not want us dead.
Anyone that you think is a color, you want in jail or dead. And none of us are crayon colors. We are the American people. We are the American people. The American states at that. So you are volunteering to call us black and African-American, so you want us dead. You know that that means treason. You know this, so you want to kill us and throw us in jail. You want to do it. Because you are a fucking terrorist. Period. 